So again, I will tell you that CAR T cells are going to come to these uh, countries also pretty quickly. We're already working with companies, for example, in India, it's a company called Immunil, where we are developing CAR T cells for the Indian population. CARs are coming to South America as well. Other things like the monoclonal antibodies are already here. Belantamab, Mafidotin, the CD38 monoclonal antibodies can be used. So the fact that we have so many different choices really allows us to use all of these either in combination or sequentially. The other thing I will say, and this is from the international milo we are an international society so we really care about not just what we can have access to but what patients from all over the world can have access to and in that effort i will tell you uh, with my role in the international myeloma society as the chair of the educational committee with uh, nikhil manchi who's the president of the ims we're working very hard to try and create somewhat of a therapeutic map wherein you can then identify what's available locally, what you can access locally. But the idea here is also not just have that access to those local communities, but when the regulators in those local communities see the discrepancy, I think it's going to allow them to get access to other drugs as well. So that's patient advocacy, is something we care about tremendously, uh, Charlie. And for me personally, I think it's extremely important that all myeloma patients all over the world get the same quality of care that we can afford, really.